Hey, what is up, everyone? This is Dark Sage 101, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Uh, in the last episode, we took our first our first look at uh, Tom Berries, which were really cool. The the Tom Berry uh, monster enemy. Uh, yeah, that was interesting. Uh, we fought what two normal ones, and then we fought like a like a what was it a Master Berry or something like that. Uh, yeah, they have some interesting abilities. The Karma ability really destroyed me. Uh, 480 damage on my, uh, Dragoon. I remember that one. And then the, uh, constant, like, knife ability, uh, which basically it did, like, 130 damage on, like, two members. So, yeah, that was a kind of a chan kind of a challenging fight. But uh, in this episode today, we're going to be doing that little clan mission that I was talking about in the last episode. Uh... Which will be the snuggle, uh, smuggle bust. Now, actually, I didn't get the armor uh, off screen. The uh, the one I was talking about, the uh, materia armor or whatever it's called. Um, we're like three enemies away because uh, I just freed an area, which was uh, the uh, the cave. Uh, I just did that off screen. I didn't really do a whole lot. So let's go ahead and grab this and let's do this mission. Okay, he's way over there. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, by the way, the river got taken, by the way. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Okay, right now it's Elemental, Steel, and Morph. That's actually really, uh... Do I have an Anti-Steel Law? Wait, hold on. I think I do. I think I have an Anti-Steel. Yeah, I do. I have an Anti-Steel. Okay. We'll just... Oh my gosh, never mind. I was going to say, we'll just use that if they have anything good. I can't... Uh, I can't charm. That's kind of bad, but that's okay. We can work with that. We're clean here. Take this chocobo skin and leave. Pfft, no. <laughs> uh-uh. Ooh, okay. What is oh, it's this one. Completely forgot about this mission. Yeah, the box. Average wooden box. What of what's inside? Okay. Well, what kind of equipment are we looking at? A uh, good bow. Nothing really much on him right there. What about the Beastmaster? Okay. There's nothing I want. Okay. So, the anti-steel really isn't that big of an issue. The only one that I see being an issue is the anti-charm, but I think I can actually get rid of that. I think I have an uh, anti-charm uh, uh, anti-law or whatever. I'll bring hit, uh, bring the uh, red mage for sleep, I guess. Uh, blue mage, assassin. Oh yeah, I have my hunter with a new bow, by the way. I gave him the Marduk bow. Uh, this I actually got from a dispatch uh, about two episodes ago. I just never showed it. I do apologize about that. It's actually a really good bow. This bow is said to choose the ones who wield it. Uh, its attack's like 39. It's ridiculous. It's also got a really like, long range. Really good bow. I can still hunt, so... Wait, wait, wait. Did I give you aim? Wait, hold on. Oh, glad I caught that one. Bring him on Blanc, because I actually really like bringing him now. At this point in the game, is actually kind of useful. Uh, I'll just bring the sage, I guess. Okay, so we can't charm, we can't steal, and we can't uh, morph. So that's not that bad. Who are you, anyway? I tell you nothing. I have nothing. It's not lying, you know. We know you're smuggling monsters. Okay. Well, at least they don't have anything uh, that special in terms of equipment. 
so the anti-steal really isn't that big of a deal. The no-steal law, that's totally fine. What is that? What the heck? Oh, that's his bow. What? Okay, he just one-shot him on Blanc. What the heck? Wait, hold on. <coughs> what the heck? What is this guy's attack? 294. What the heck? That's crazy, dude. Oh, yeah, that is, uh... Wow, he's nice. Oh, wow, I have a 40% chance to hit. What the heck is a box dodge? Well, we're, uh, we're, uh, we're on a great start right now. 99 damage. There we go. What did that do? Okay, that just knocks him out. Okay, I don't get the purpose in that. Let's just put this guy to sleep. He's got like over 200 health anyway, so this is going to take forever to kill. There we go. Already's got 182 health. That's actually pretty decent for a Beastmaster. I have no clue how much that's going to do against the Beastmaster, probably not much. Uh, I missed both, so that, that, was, uh, that was a big help. Uh, just do like a Blizzard spell, I guess. My Blue Mage is ridiculous at this point. Yeah, it only did 13. The guy has a bunch of magic resistance. Alright, now I'm just gonna kill all this stuff. Mostly just need to get rid of that uh, hunter, because that guy's a meat grinder. 86, oh my gosh. I'm glad that you can't, uh, dodge, uh, yeah, you're not immune to that, so, might as well at least try and get rid of him. Okay, I got him, there we go, perfect. Okay, they're pretty much the biggest threat off the board, that's good. And that hunter, that hunter was so powerful. Well, yeah, he's got almost 300 attack on a range, that's pretty Pretty powerful. He's about as, actually he was about as strong as Shara. Fifty damage. Okay. Doing forty nine right there. Uh. Yeah, it's not doing that much. Wait, can I reach the? Uh, yeah, I can reach the Melboro. I actually want to use that. How much is this going to do? It's going to do 118. It's going to do 114 to him. Uh, I'm just going to do it on this one. My hunter is ridiculously powerful right now. Wait, how much would a physical attack do? Probably only like 30. But I can quickly check. Yeah, 38. He's also got a counter as well. <clears throat> I'll just put him back to sleep. There we go. <laughs> Hit him with the Sidewinder, or Sidewinder, and then just... Put him back to sleep. 
I'm actually not worried about that Beastmaster, so... I don't think this is going to do much, probably like 40 something. 52. Uh. Yeah, we can do that, I guess. Yeah, he was able to counter because I woke him up. Man, we had a, a great start on this battle. <laughs> I was seeing just uh, Mont Blanc just getting straight up one shot. Man, I haven't seen that in ages. And also, the Assassin's actually gotten so much MP that she's able to cast uh, Last Breath twice in one battle. So that's really, really useful. Yeah, it looks like this is going to be a quick one. That's good, because I actually, uh, I'm really tired right now. Fifty-six. Dude, that guy's got some strength for a Beastmaster. Okay. Yeah, actually, I want to kill this Malboro. I think I can get him with just an arrow. Yeah. Fifty-six. Yeah, my... My hunter is really, really powerful right now. That new bow is really helpful. Wait, can I put him to sleep? Yeah, that's probably a lot better than just doing a physical attack or a magic attack. Since he's got so much magic defense that... Yeah. Yeah, cause look, look how little I'm doing. Yeah, see, I'm only doing 28 with water. So we have to rely on uh, physical attacks on this guy. I actually need to give my uh, assassin a new weapon. I forgot to give her, uh, like, a grape bow or something. 64, wow. Yeah, this guy's powerful. Kind of reminds me of Bobbis a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Much would a physical attack do? A lot less. <coughs> oh, I accidentally uh, aimed for my red mage. Oops. Yeah, not quite enough. Almost dead. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I, I knew he was gonna do that. There we go, I win. Super easy fight. So we couldn't fool you. Of course not, you insult me.
All right, well, that was easy. Chocobo skin, sweet. Excalibur. Cool. Uh, wind and bite. I don't need either of those. Okay, we got the dark armor. <laughs> I already have one of those. Kane's lance. No, I don't want another archer. Alright. Amazing. So we got a bunch of new stuff. Oops, did not mean to do that. Okay, so let me look at that uh, material armor. There we go. Should be hard armor. Uh, can I get abilities from it? I did not mean to do that. Do game? Seriously? Okay, I don't. It's just really tanky. 52 defense. Holy moly, that's a strong armor. Okay, well, I'm equipping that on my main character. There we go. <laughs> He's got over 300 defense now. Alright, well, that was a helpful piece of armor. I'm glad I got that. Okay, we also got uh, the Excalibur. Forty-seven. Wow, that's a strong weapon. We got Holy Blade for uh, Paladins. There, that's pretty nice. I'm pretty sure it just it just puts Holy on your blade. I think it's just like the uh, the Gladiator skills. It's pretty good. Good good weapon. Did I get? No, I still don't have Saint Cross. Okay, uh, let's equip you with a new belt. <coughs> Nightmare, I actually forgot what that one did. Okay, we can get you... Okay, we already got Shadowbind. Uh, a goo? Oh, that's the, uh, that's the slow spell. Let's see, do you have Nightmare? Do you have this one? No, you do not have Nightmare. Did not mean to do that. Puts targets to sleep and sometimes dooms them. That's kind of a crazy one. Alright. My, my assassin's, like, just ridiculously powerful. She's about as powerful as my ninja right now. Alright, cool. Alright, so what is going to be our next mission for uh, tomorrow's episode? Greetings. Flesh and Bones. I think we're going to do probably that one. Yeah, we could do that one. Alright, we'll do Flesh and Bones tomorrow. And then after that, uh, oh yeah, also we got Desert Rose that popped up. Um, and then we might do Exploration. We still have so many side quests before we do this one. Do we have any new rumors? I haven't checked this in ages. Uh, yeah, we have two new ones. I'll just let you guys read those. Just things about uh, independent judges and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end off the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was a pretty disappointing fight. <laughs> I expected that to be a little difficult, but that actually was not that hard. Uh, other than the 
the hunter at the start. But as soon as I got rid of that hunter, they just completely fell apart. Like, <laughs> they did absolutely nothing after that. So, yeah, that was uh, pretty easy. So, if you guys enjoyed, I will see you all in the next episode, which will be tomorrow. We'll keep up with the consistent uploads. Uh, so, see you all in the next one. Goodbye.